Hello crafty ones, this is Pam Vinnie with Pam's Paper Place and I thought I would show you a haul that I got mainly um, from Hobby Lobby. Let's see, and I also have a Happy Mail. Why don't I do the Happy Mail first? So I got Happy Mail from Kathy's Garden, Kathy Amira. I'll put the link to her channel. And I already used some of the little goodies she sent me in the my last journal, Little Red Riding Hood. Thank you so much, Kathy. That was fun to get. And I don't want to turn it the other way because it has the addresses. But look at the cute handmade little envelope she put it in, too. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, and as I said, a couple things I already put in my journal. But she has this beautiful little envelope it has a few things in here it's very cute so I can use that and here's a little note and it says dear Pam you won the drawing for Kathy sewing happiness I hope you're enjoying your time with your family and they have uh, since left but yes I did enjoy that time I made a video about your shabby kit. I have a shabby kit that she bought, um, and it's in my Etsy. There's a couple more left. Um, your shabby kits, like a journal kit that you can use in a for a journal. And made a video for a cover. She made a beautiful cover. I'll uh, link that. Take care, be safe, much love, your YouTube friend Kathy. So that's Kathy Amira. Thank you so much, and I will link um, her channel. This beautiful teapot and I did use one teapot in my um, little Red Riding Hood journal. We have um, a beautiful playing card. Look how beautiful that is. Very pretty little tag. Another like little die cuts here. Here's one. Pretty. A little tea house card. And then we have some scrapbook paper, and um, she put some washi down this side. And we have a beautiful tag that has lace on it, and a whole bunch more. Uh, look how pretty that is. That'd be pretty uh, on here. And then some cute little tags. Cute. Oops. And then we have this cute little uh, vellum envelope with all these beautiful flowers. So see, Kathy is sowing seeds of happiness. Look at all those pretty flowers. Very cute. Oh, and I did put one of these in my journal, too. It's like a little die cut. So thank you so much. I love Kathy's channel. And like I said, I will link that. Thank you, thank you. And now on to a fall haul from Hobby Lobby. Uh, some things, um, I think these were just like on sale. And I'm going to be making a fall um, journal, like I said. So um, I'm going to be using these little leaves pretty I got a big bunch of little sunflower looking flowers aren't they pretty and I can use all the leaves and all the flowers so a bunch of that that was ten dollars so it might have been forty percent off okay I do. Okay, let's do the fabric. And I think this was on sale. I got two yards each. And I think it was, I don't know, I think one. What did I get? Oh, I got two yards of this. So I might have paid $10. But it's beautiful. Look at the little um, farm and our trees get like this. And another um, 
truck with pumpkins. Cute. So, a lot of that. I guess I could have got a yard. <laughs> it's two yards of that. But that's really pretty. Then I got some for farmhouse journals. Um, I think this was 40% off too, and I got two yards of this. Very pretty pleated for a farmhouse journal. Love that. And oh, and then I got, I've been wanting this quite a while. I don't know what the sale was for this, um, but I've been wanting this dye, Thin Let Sizzix, Tim Holtz, and it is called Wildflower Stems, I believe. So I'm looking forward to that dye, metal dyes in there. Also, at Hobby Lobby, I got these um, leaves. They're uh, like cardboard and they hang on strings, but I'm going to take them apart and use them in journals. Aren't they pretty? I could open them up if you'd like, and it's called Hanging Decor Fall Party. Yeah, we'll just open it up, see what they look like. Yeah, so they're like hanging. And look how cool those are. All different kinds. Who doesn't like fall? Fall reminds me of apple cider, hot apple cider, cinnamon donuts. There's a little place that the apple orchard and it has hay rides and all kinds of things, and you can watch them make cider. Um, I got this on clearance, but this was not fall, but it it was a dollar, and it looks like I, I was wanting to do a mermaid journal, and I had some glittery that I gave to my granddaughter, so I needed something else. I might, I don't know, it might be next year I use that. But anyway, because it was a dollar, I got it. And here's some fall type for 99 cents. Or woodland. See, you see leaves. Yeah, this is woodland. Or fall. It almost looks camouflage. The ribbon boutique. Forest ribbon what it's called. I like that. So I have that ribbon. I got this white, uh, not necessarily fall, but it was a dollar and I like pleated ribbon. So knife pleat trim. That and then that's really fun. Move this over is look what i got look at these little felted um you can hang it but they're like these felted balls that kind of look like pumpkins and i thought i could use them somehow on a tassel they look felted to me and they are called fall garland So, yeah, I'll find a way to use those in a tassel. And then, then I just went the other day because I saw a lot of people with um, um, clearance from Hobby Lobby. And I went, I didn't find a whole lot, but all I found was this little handful. Just this. I got... Um, this isn't fall, but it's pink. I love the big pink Rick Rack, Jumbo Rick Rack for a dollar. Oops. So that light pink is pretty. Sometime I want to make some baby books. I love Prima Flowers. I have quite a few, but I love them. $1.49 for these beautiful blue ones. These are 
I don't see a name that they go with. But those are pretty. I don't think I have too many that are blue. And I got these that would go good with a fall journal. $1.50. They're bright and fun. Prima. <clears throat> oh, this is something else. Then I got um, these gift sacks. Fall party. And look how fun. They've got the barn. Almost just like that material. So they're 12 counts, 5 by 10 um, gift bags that I'll use. In the farm journal and fall journal. Love that. And then for Christmas, I don't usually do a whole lot of Christmas journals, but um, these are cute for either like um, fall journals with the pickup and the trees. And then I got these fall ones, Paper Studio. I almost wish I would have got two of these. Got the pumpkins, leaves, and acorns. Fun for tassels. And then a little Christmas one. I thought maybe I could try to make these too. They're pom pom snowman. Aren't they adorable? Why couldn't you just make some of these with that little broom? I might even have some of those miniature brooms. I'm not sure. I have a lot of miniatures that I need to go through. Isn't that cute? That would be easy to make. I might try that at Christmas. Cute. Then, let's see, what else, what else, I think, is this, oh, I got two things, okay, this I found at the Dollar Tree, I think, I don't know if there's only one, but it's the truck at the Dollar Tree, look at, farmhouse ribbon, awesome, and let's see, and then the last thing that I got, I ordered this, um, Karen Berniston, it's like a pop-up die, and I'm going to try to put that in the middle of my a journal. So, um, that's all the haul I got. Fall haul, y'all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to be making some fall journals. Bye-bye.